so I've been driving all day. And uh, as you can see, this thing is rock solid in the lane. A lot of traffic. It, um, a few things I've learned, and I, it's causing me to question um, uh, GM Super Cruise <clears throat> is one of the things I've noticed is like the road's uneven, you know, the concrete's not flat, perfect for the blacktop. There's ruts. Um, if you're going slower and, well, either if you're going fast and go by somebody or if you're going, somebody's going by you uh, with the trailer on here, there's a vacuum that's caused between the vehicles and it wants to pull you together. So, uh, open pilot has to compensate for that of course and um, you know the lanes I, we went through Atlanta earlier and uh, in Atlanta there's eight lanes in a bunch of spots and the lanes are very narrow uh, there was a few times I almost grabbed the wheel well, I did grab the wheel but I didn't I didn't uh, do anything I just grabbed the wheel <clears throat> because I thought open pilot wasn't gonna stay in its lane and it did and uh, had I been in control I actually would have been out of my lane which is kind of weird so uh, this thing keeps the truck centered with the trailer better than I can have this is my second trip with this trailer up north and um, <clears throat> it's it's it stays in its lane pretty good as far as tuning uh, the only thing I did is is I cranked up uh, it's called KP and it's basically how aggressive the steering responds to needs for adjustment and uh, I crank that up a fair amount on just the highway and uh, that feels much better uh, the other thing initially when we left I had too much weight in the back of the trailer and at 75 it had a slight oscillation and uh, slight and this trailer laster didn't have any so we uh, shifted some of the weight from the back of the trailer to the front and that went away but open pilot uh, it kept it in its lane with the oscillations but it, tend it tended to act like uh, a newbie does and you try and out steer it and really what you're supposed to do is just keep just going straight like you're supposed to ignore the oscillation to, to keep things straight open pilot act, act, acted like a newbie so like I don't know if you noticed that uh, video here I just went by a semi and it sucked me over like a half a foot but I never this thing is not once today not once gotten out of its lane it always stays in its lane even if there's a variation from wind or vacuum between vehicles. So, oh, wonderful. Just missed that. Um, been a lot of traffic today. It's the second day after Memorial Day, and uh, it's one of the busiest trips we've taken so far. So, anyway, um, it's one of that's, it's took me a little while to chill out and trust open pilot you know this trailer's pretty wide and uh, so if there's any error in centering it shows up with the trailer <laughs> uh, oh GM uh, the super cruise so I'm just wondering how great super cruise really is after using open pilot for towing one of their big things they brag about is how great it is for towing and you know all the test drives I've seen the videos they're on a test track or they're on a closed system with no traffic it's beautiful sunny skies there's no crosswinds or anything like that and uh, I just wonder how it's going to work in the real world so anyways just uh, thought I'd share that